horrible. It's, it's I just haven't seen something like that before, and I was uh, I didn't know what he was doing. It it wasn't trying to throw with it. If you if the the, the coach in the chair, his name is uh, is uh, Haji Akondaze, and he had exactly the same technique. He caught so many people with it. It's like hooking it into the leg, and then he almost sits down. Ah, okay, <laughs> because I just thought, okay, he's trying to block him. No, because he I tries a technique from I there. I didn't know how to throw with this. Maybe we'll see it. Yeah, specialist, uh, specialist Iranian technique, and I'll, I'll tell you what, his coach could bring it off yeah. at the highest level. Really, he was a very good player, actually. Haji, he was he 66, just 66. Yeah, he was just annoying. That was the thing. He was just <laughs> so annoying, incredibly annoying fighter. The category was very strong today, I think, because uh, many of the fighters uh, who are here, they, they picked up some good results, like uh, Korea and mm -hmm. Peters, and uh, what did we have? Um well, if you look at the uh, lineup in the quarterfinal, Mamadov, Korea, Saidov, Samoilovic, and Majub, I suppose, is a, a, a slight outsider, but Dmitry Peters, and then Maxim Rakov. Yeah, so Rakov, it, was a, yeah. it was a really good group. Dude, chasing his man, there's uh, <laughs> the excitable Haji Akondaze that we've just spoken about. Saidov already picked up a penalty, haven't seen it. And that's a pen. This is what was I what I was talking about. The he goes in from very far with the with a oh, okay. strong grip. So on it's on slightly the different one from what I was thinking of. Okay. No, no, not with the leg, but the hip technique. Uh, yeah. And he he throws quite nicely. That's how I think uh, Peters uh, lost his match. The yeah, double world champion in the front row. At under 66 kilos, Arash Mirash Meli of uh, Iran, shouting out some uh, support <laughs> for Maju. He's busy enough, isn't he? Yeah. He put some pressure on, but still, the Uzbekin is still very dangerous uh, for me. It's the favorite for me. Could be a matchup in the Asian Championships. This, yeah, the uh, Iranian uh, Asian champion, right? I don't think so. I, I thought so. But Just wondering who it is that's uh, champion at under 100 kilos. <laughs> Half the contest gone. Ooh. With his grip in o the belt. Over the back, yeah, yeah. It looks as though he almost changes it halfway through. Here's the entry. Well, we, well that's, the, that's the finish. Oh. See so what you mean? He's got this really deep yeah. grip over the back. Instead of coming around the waist, that's the shortest way around, isn't it? It's a little bit like Lipitiliani. Lipitiliani also has that deep um, grip over yeah, the back. Yeah, that's right. I don't know how they managed to throw with it yeah, because yeah. if I had my uh, like the shoulder out, yeah. so yeah. far behind, I, I couldn't take any strength to, to throw someone. <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally when the coach is told to um, uh, keep quiet, they normally say, oh, "Sorry." <laughs> yeah, but, but the other one behind was yeah, shouting. Even more, so. yeah. Left 
sorry, right and then left, but uh, they were both fairly weak, so no trouble for Majub there. It's Saidov who's picked up the um, one. Oh, almost the king was waiting oh, for him, wasn't he? Yeah. And, and like you say, that's not strong. It, it didn't look as though he could fight him off. He's got his arm way stretched out, and Saidov looked as though he was waiting for him. Couldn't bring him down for a score, though. But close. Minute 20 odd left to go. That was a better effort. Left sided. The uh, sleeve and lapel wrapped up there. Good, uh, good attack. Oh, oh. nice attack. It was a little bit. The first part looked yeah, good, but the second part looked I a little bit I think he went to the wrong direction. If he, he just turned into the other direction, it could have been better. Hey, you're the expert on that. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I try, but... Uh, <laughs> I this, see, this taking, me, yeah, taking yeah, me over the air. Uh, if he just went over his right shoulder, right, it, yeah. it would have been better. You'll have to get down there and give him a few <laughs> tips. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes again. Oh. Oh. Ochigari. Yuko on the board now for Majub. Here's yeah. real danger. 50 odd seconds left to go. But you know what? Um, Saidov had to attack. Yeah, yeah, he, no, he had to go for it. He kept looking at that Shido and thinking, oh, I better go, I yeah, better go. The, the strate strategy to, to wait for him to do this this attack from far away wasn't it's, working. It, yeah, and uh, well, if you wait for that and it doesn't come, well, then you wait and you lose by yeah. Shido. So I prefer to go out like. In a <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, go out with a bang. <laughs> with a bang, but, but to, to just to wait whimper. and uh, okay, probably I lose. Hmm. If you have like 30 seconds or 40 seconds left, and side of going to have to go again. All or nothing. He just hasn't got anything left now, has he? Mm. I think he has one more big attack to come. 19 seconds. Well, there's time enough for two or three attacks. Yeah, yeah but one but you need one real yeah. attack. So so better prepare for the one than to just to... And um, now Haji's got to go and take a seat somewhere else. Yeah, but I think it's the other one. No? Yeah, it could be. He's standing, he's up on his feet, isn't yeah. he? Look. But Haji was giving it plenty. He's got to go and um, sit somewhere else now. Uh, I don't see anything coming. <laughs> no, he, he hasn't. He's spent. He hasn't got anything left now. There was one last effort, and that yeah. was it. It's Majub of Iran who takes it. Well, yeah. Haji comes back now, <laughs> waiting uh, for his player. A member of our sports commission is from Iran. <laughs> he probably checked your judogi yesterday.